Hello, and welcome to the Loyola Sports Network. I'm Gavin Halsey alongside Andrew Sorencione. Hey, Gavin. The Dons are hoping to catch its third straight win against the Greyhounds. The last win was a comeback down seven for the Dons, led by Jake Falk and Diego Arango, who both had a triple and a three RBI day. It's a cold and cloudy day for baseball, but the teams look ready to go here in Veterans Park. The Dons are in the white uniforms and the Greyhounds are in navy blue. The Dons will be starting pitching today. Logan Connolly gets the start today on the mound. And number two, Leakith, is up for the Greyhounds. Warming up, start of the first inning underway. Andrew, you got any feelings about the game today? Um, hopefully the Dons can get their third straight against the Greyhounds here. Logan Connolly's looking sharp right now. Outfield, infield, warming up right now. Tough to get three straight against the team, but... Looks like Loyola can maybe possibly do it today. Fans are starting to get in their seats and everybody's ready for some baseball. Excuse me, it's number 12 starting off for Gilman. Connolly gets ready for the first pitch. And the pitch is inside for strike one, and we're underway here. Good pitch, just hitting the outside corner. That was a great ball inside there. Contact's oh. hit, and it's off to the first baseman, and he brings it over for the first out of the game. What a play by Cease. Brad Cease. First baseman with his brother alongside on third base, Derek. Great play there. He got down on the turf, picked that one up, and got back on the base. Next up here, hitting leak. Oh, wait. Sorry. Excuse me. That is Jute Taylor for the Greyhounds. Pitch is up. Makes contact and it comes back foul. Good cut by Taylor there. Got underneath of that one and shot right back. Connolly gets his pitch. Delivery and swing and a miss. Good pitch by Connolly, a little up and in there. Looked like a high fastball right there. Got above his swing. Great job there. So one and two is the count now. Delivery and it's a high ball. Flying out to the left field. Underneath of it and he got it. And that's the second out of the day for the Dons. Good track in the ball there. That was a high fly ball by Jude Taylor. Diego Arango made a great play to get all the way back near the warning track to get that one. That was a high ball and he tracked it very well. Now up is Danny Lakis, batting third for the Greyhounds. Great start so far by Conaway. Yeah, he's looking good right now. He's dealing. And a great ball there. Just got the bottom of the zone for strike one of this at bat. Logan Conaway, another great pitch. He's gotten on those outside edges a lot this early inning. And it's a high ball into center field. And it's caught, and they bring it in for the third out, and they'll switch sides. Great one, two, three by Connolly there. Great play by Mike Delgadio, and that's the end of the first half of the inning.
and Ben Coleman on the mound now for the Greyhounds. Diego Rango, the first one up for the Dons here. Has a good lefty swing. Yeah, lefty batter in first, lefty pitcher. This might be a bit tricky, but I believe he can get it done here. Coleman getting ready, steps into it in the delivery. And a called strike one down low in the zone. Just looking at the first pitch here, seeing what he's got. Yeah, that looked very low there. Tough to decide, especially lefty on lefty. Those inside balls will be tricky. And it's fouled back, deep back, and it's 0-2 to start off for Arango. Good contact there, though, on an inside pitch against the lefty. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a difficult at bat, but making contact is just the start of this for him. Coleman getting ready. Delivery, and it's tipped back and fouled again. Kind of the same thing there, just a little bit higher. Rango step back. Get a few practice chops in. The 0-2 count. And Coleman steps back. So the 0-2 still going. Rango steps back into the plate. The pitch, and it's contact to first base. Picks it up and runs to one. first. Pass to the pitcher and it's dropped. Arango safe at first. And the Dons get their first batter on the field, on the bases. Great good, way to start off. Good contact there, just getting it in play and making pitcher come over. Tough play for the pitcher too though. Ryan Clary up at the dish, righty hitter. And with the man on first, is a great position to get it in the gap for an RBI here right off the bat, and that would be a great start for the Dons. Clary stepping in now. Ooh, close, close to the plate here. Komen with the pitch, and he takes this one high, ball one. Great eye by Ryan Clary there. Ryan Clary standing in here. Coleman looks at first, then he throws it to first. Arango back safely. Just checking on him. Not too big of a lead over there at first right now. Yeah, he's playing it safe right now. First inning, you don't want to get into much, especially if you want to take an early lead. Looks back at first and the pitch. High again, ball two. Great so eye again by Clary. Clary, he's taking these high fastballs really well. And there'll be a meeting at the mound here for Gilman. Clary's done a great job early in this at bat, just watching that high ball and just letting it go. Yeah, he, he's probably gonna wait for his right pit, for the pitch that's right for him. Yeah, righty batter, this is a good situation for him with one already on at first. Arango, he could get a, could get a steal here, that's why Coleman's been looking back at him. Clary has the opportunity to get a big hit here. 2-0 count, no need for Clary to be in a rush for anything here, but Arango could may possibly steal on this with the pitcher just trying to get it in, in the strike zone here. Yeah, it's a great observation there, Andrew, and Clary's back in. So we resume play here. Coleman getting ready. He pitches, and outside strike called. Two and one is the count. Took some heat off of it there just to get it in the strike zone. Caught the outside corner. Yeah, that was a great play for by the pitcher there. Clary just sitting back. He's ahead in the count still. Pitch. And it's crushed into the gap. Left center field, and it gets through the outfielders. Arango going around third. Clary to second. Arango's headed home. And the play doesn't make it, and Arango gets home for the first score of the game. Well, and Clary's pumped that second base right now. That was electric to start this game. What a cut by Clary. Inside pitch and getting it right in the left center gap, and he is pumped. Clary crushed that one in the left center field, got past both outfielders, and made it around a second for the first score of the game. Gavin Pope in now, left-handed batter, man away at second. Lefty on lefty here again. Crowd getting into it in the first pitch here. And low inside strike. Great pitch there. It looked like it had some movement coming in. 
and that's difficult to hit, especially as a lefty on lefty. Yeah, you're absolutely right there. 0-1 oh, count right now. He looks back at second. And the pitch is underway. Outside strike two called. Same kind of pitch there, just on the outside corner this time. Yeah, he's looking to get that movement coming in, especially at lefty on lefty. Difficult for Gavin Pope here. Got to be aggressive in an 0-2 count here. 0-2, Clary at second. Delivery inside, and it's fouled off to the right, down the first baseline. Way to stay alive there. Yeah, he's got to be aggressive here in an 0-2 count. Can't, let it, can't just be watching. No outs here, runner aboard at second. Komen on the mound. His pitch, outside, ball one. One, two count now, Pope. Good pitch though, he can, he's, he's, he's able to do risky pitches like that with an 0-2 count. Pope, good eye there, not to be too aggressive on that one. Strike three cold watching, Gavin Pope is out looking. Coleman gets his first out of the game, and Gilman. That is a tough pitch. Now to gets hit one there. back. Derek Cease now the third baseman. Hitting third today. Clary in at second. Movement by the infielders. And the first pitch, swing and a miss, strike one. That was a good cut by Cease there, though. Cease was looking to get all of that one. Cease so got a good matchup here, righty on lefty. Komen looking in, and the quick pitch. Outside, ball one. Good one, one Cease. count. One, one count there. Cease playing alongside his brother, uh, Brad Cease, first base. Looks back, and the pitch, and it's hit up. Infield, first baseman, looking around for it, and he Ooh. makes the diving play at first. That's two outs for the Dons. Must have lost it up in the sky there. That's a tough one to come down with, too. Yeah, cloudy day, white ball. This is going to be a tough one, especially for these outfielders. Jake Hawk up now, another righty. Jake Hawk led the Dons to victory the other day with the triple and a three RBI day. Looking to get back to it against the Greyhounds here. Had an amazing day. Looking to do that again. Coleman looks back in the pitch. And Hawk watching strike one. Good off speed pitch there. Yeah, it looked like it was outside, came back into the zone. Coleman again. Looks back at second, Clary. Pitch, and it's hit out to left field. Can't get there, and Clary's coming around home. Hawk gets around to second, and he's safe in at second, sliding in. And the Dons take a 2-0 lead early in this first inning. What a hard hit ball by Hawk over the left fielder's head. Had no chance of even getting close to that one. Yeah, left fielder. Cheatham just couldn't get back to that one. That was a hard hit ball. Got all the way out to the fence and got around for a second score for the Dons. There's a pinch runner here for Hawk. And Brad sees in now. Another righty batter. Righties have had a really good day today already. Komen looks back at second. And the pitch and a steal. Good throw and out number three for Gilman. Good throw, good tag there. And Dons take a 2-0 lead in this first inning. Great start. We'll be back. Second inning action.
And we're back here. Don's taking an early 2-0 lead. And in for the Greyhounds is number nine, Randolph. Wyatt Randolph here. Ready pitcher against Connolly. First pitch is in, strike one. Great pitch, bottom of the zone there. Nice low pitch. Logan Connolly's had a great start to this game. Went one, two, three. Connolly's second pitch. And it's hit out to left field, left center field, ranging back, back, gone. Gilman strikes back quick. He got all of that one there. Yeah, that was Low and inside pitch, and he just went to deep left center with that one. Wow, great swing there from Gil uh, Rudolph for Gilman. And they bring this back to a 2-1 game. Just what the Greyhounds needed there after a tough inning out, uh, out in the field. Yeah, Don's had complete momentum after that, those two doubles. And Connolly back at the dish. Delivery and call ball one. 1-0 one -oh count now. Number 10, Moeller in, Jake Moeller, the junior. The two count now. Let's not get the call there on that one. Sorry. Connolly, third pitch of this at bat. Delivery inside. Almost Rio got him on that here. one. Connolly looking in. 3 0 count. Got to get this one in the zone. And called ball four. Gilman gets one on base. Now, number seven in for the Greyhounds. Bukto. <laughs> Connolly trying to limit this here. The man on first already. First pitch. Strike one. Connolly gets right back into it. Good pitch there from Connolly. Batter's probably just trying to get this one in play and see what happens with the runner on first. That's Infield what he does. ball to third baseman. One. Two. Double play. Dons take advantage of that infield ball. Great play by Derek Cease to get it over the second baseman and whip it to first. Just what the Dons needed there to get back into it after the home run. Andrew, that play takes a lot of skill to get that and turn it over to first. Third to second to first. Not an easy one there, too. Found the entire infield there. Connolly first pitch down low, 1 0 count. Second pitch, looks, delivers, and it's a bunt. Connolly racing to it. Cease takes it over and no throw as he'll be safe at first. Good bunt. Nothing, really could, nothing you could really do there for Cease. Good bare hand, but he just was not able to get him. That's Chris Rangar again. Great speed there from the runner. Got to first with a no throw. Connolly, to Connolly now. Man on first with two away. Ready on ready matchup. This is what he wants. Pitch. Strike one. Good pitch by Connolly there. Just trying to get out of the inning now. High ball there. Trying to get hopefully some weak contact or strike out here. Logan Connolly looks. Delivers. Inside. Ball one. Almost got him on that one. Connolly's been throwing great so far. Gilman, man on first. On one count now. Logan with the delivery outside, and the base runner is stuck in a pickle. High throw at second, and he'll make it in safe. High throw led them getting a the second there. They had him down. Unlucky there for the Dons. Had him in a pickle, just tough play at second. Look at this, need to settle down, get focus on the batter and the plate right now. Ranger didn't know what to do. He didn't know to go back to first or continue to second. Connolly now goes in, and 
Another ball there. Three one count. Looking to limit the damage here. Hopefully nothing in play. Connolly pitch. Outside ball four. Gillen, man on second and first now. Looking to do some damage here with runners on first and second. This is Jackson Cheatham. Cheatham, sorry. Now there's a play at first, second, and third for the Don. So any infield pitch should be an out. Outside pitch, ball one. A few balls here, but just need to settle down. Get back to what you were doing before the home run. First inning play, great. Just unlucky here a few times. Another one in, Connolly back up on the mound. 1 0 count. Looks back at second. Back at the catcher and delivers. Strike one. Good, Looks nice like pitch. Foul back there. Good, nice pitch right down the middle there. Batter just went a little low on that one and chipped it right back. Keep him in at the plate. Connolly looks, delivers, strike two. That was a great pitch by Connolly there. Low in the zone, around the knees. No way of hitting that one. One, two count, two outs. Man on first and second. Connolly looking to get him out of this. And inside ball, we cease diving on the ground. Can't get any play at first or second. And Gilman has bases loaded here with two outs. Good effort by Cease there. That was a hard hit ground ball between the shortstop and third baseman. Yeah, it looked like couldn't get it in the glove. That was a hard hit ball, but great play to limit that. That gets through. That's a base runner coming right home for Gilman. Bases loaded here. Logan Connolly at the dish. Pitch. Strike one. Back to Lawson here for Gilman. Oh, one count. Connolly looking in, and it's a weak ground ball to the second baseman who will pound his glove and give it to the first baseman. Just what the Dons need there to get out of the inning. Great play, and we'll be right back on Loyola Sports Network. And we're back on Loyola Sports Network here. Bottom of the second inning. Brad Cease now, first baseman. Don, Don shouldn't be too worried about what happened last inning with the home run. They should be looking fine. Got out of the inning, got it in a tight jam, bases loaded. And a call strike one there. Cease looking to bring the Don's lead back up. Can change that with one swing. And it's hit. Right to the second baseman. 
Unlucky and that's there. out number one. Hard hit ball just straight at the second baseman. Now the center fielder, Michael Delgadio in now. He's looking, he has some power here. He can change this game right here. Komen now, lefty pitcher, delivers. And looking to strike one. Delgadio with, so, with a lot of power, did not want to make a mistake against him here. Pitch, and it's hit right down the middle, and that's through for a base hit. Delgadio safe in at first, and the Dons get a man on base. Good hard cut there, shows the power from Delgadio there. Gets over top of the ball, but still drives it through the infield. Colby Schilling in now. Sophomore, playing shortstop today. Man at first, Komen. Looks over. The pitch, and a steal from Delgadio. Delgadio showing up the speed, and he's And he's safe. in safe. Dons with one out. Move a man over to second. Perfect play to attack right there. Get a guy in scoring position with one out now. Smart play from Delgadio there. Get out of a double play that would end the inning. So it's a 1-0 count. Komen looking back. Pitch in for strike one. Good hanging slider there, it looked like. Caught the outside corner. 1-1 one, one count now. Schilling in at the plate. Down low oh. and it gets behind the catcher and Delgadio gets to third. Now without a hit, Delgadio's going from first to third. Putting him in great scoring position for the Dons. Unlucky for the Greyhounds there. Just got away from him a little bit. 2-1 count now. Schilling at the, at the plate. Delgadio knew right away he was going to third on that one. Great speed there from him. Pitch outside, ball number three, and it's a 3-1 count. Infield playing in here, hoping to get Delgadio on a ground ball here and not let him score. A lot of space behind them, though, to get an, e get an easy bloop over the infield. And counts 3-2 now. Colby Schilling, full count. And it's fouled off down the right field line. And he'll continue this at bat. Schilling here just looking to get it in play, make something happen. Has a lot of room to work with with the infield end. Nice little blooper. Anything in the gap would be huge. And it's hit down the right field line. Will it stay fair? No. Another one off, and this at bat will continue. Schilling doing a great job here making contact. Anything outside of the infield will certainly score. And it's hit infield. He looks at third, makes the throw to first, and the second out for the Dons. Still a good at bat there, though, by Schilling. Down a few pitches off. Wearing down the pitcher. Cole Hansen in now. Dons, anything. Pass the infield would be huge. Delgadio still at third. Come in the pitch. And ball one. Good take there by Hanson. Komen's had a lot of his moving pitches come from outside in. That one called a ball. And another one outside. Tried it again there, just still didn't catch the outside corner. So Looks a little out. upset after that one. Don's looking to get Delgadio home. The pitch, and it's fouled off back. And a 2-1 count. Infield back now. Not much of a focus anymore, but with two, with two outs, don't really need to focus on the runner. Hanson, and at the plate. And it's contact up to the first baseman, calling for it, and out number three. Dons can't take advantage of that runner at third, and that's the inning. We'll be back.
And we're back here with Jute Taylor stepping up to the plate in one moment. Connolly talking with the two men at the corners. See his mother. And Connolly, right handed pitcher, right handed batter here. Top of the third action here. Connolly, pitch underway. Ooh, great pitch for strike one. Good Slow slider out of the there. zone there. Great pitch. Second pitch of this at bat, and it's a weak hit over to first base. Cease ranging back, can't get to it, and that's foul strike two. Way to make contact on that one. Looked a little late on it, just kind of slapped his hands to it. That looked like outside contact there. He was reaching across the plate for that one. A little late, couldn't get it to get in play. Third pitch of the at bat here. Connolly getting in position. Taylor for Gilman. The pitch underway. And ball one. One two count. Connolly worked him well in the first inning. Getting back to that, it looks like here. Fourth pitch of the at bat, and it's popped up to the outfield. Right fielder under it, and that's out number one. Good pitch there by Connolly. Staying to the outside. Hansen got under that one for the first out for the Dons. Great pitch there. Couldn't get great contact off that one. Just a little blooper up to outfield. Just kind of off the end of the bat there. Now for Gilman. Lucas against Connolly. Both righties. Works to Connolly's advantage. First swing and it's crushed down the left field line and foul. Don's got away with one there. That was a hard hit ball, just barely fouled. Yeah, he hit that one right on the, you could hear that one. And just got foul. Connolly put it inside, he couldn't get around to it. And it's a 0-1 count. So one out here, top of the third, 0-1 count. Connolly gets in position. Movement and delivery. Outside, ball one, one one count. Just got a bit outside underneath there. Lucas in at the plate, Connolly. Underneath ball two. Kind of the same pitch there as last one. Looks like he's trying to get him to swing low, make weak contact to the infield here. High ball three. You can see why he's probably trying to get that weak contact there. Smart play from Connolly, especially after that first pitch was crushed foul. Exactly, yes. Connolly in three, one count. In the and dirt. low, ball four. Down into the turf there. Tough at bat there after that one hard hit foul ball. Kind of changed the whole momentum of that bat. Pinch runner in for Gilman now. And now at the plate, Randolph, number nine. Pinch runner, maybe. Gilman. Pinch runner, maybe Gilman's looking to attack on the base pass right now. One out, they'll be looking for the, hoping to not get in that inning ending double play. One aboard and ball one. A little high there from Connolly. Gilman man at first. Connolly looks, checks first, and the pitch. Strike one. Connolly gets that high fastball to go. Good pitch. Kind of the same as last time, just a little bit lower and got the call this time. Great play. Connolly in motion at first base. Doesn't look like he's going. Pitch outside ball two. Just didn't get the call there. Borderline call right there. Andrew, you can see that great movement to it. Mm -hmm. Just didn't swing, he's staying patient. Yeah. Third pitch, fourth pitch here. And it's another ball, 3-1. Tough one inside there. 3-1 count, looking to get this one in the zone here. Base runner goes and it's fouled off. Up high back, he got underneath of that one big time. 
the runner was going too. They didn't swing. I think the runner would have been there too. Now Connolly going to be cautious here, especially since that runner took off last time. 3-2 count here. I don't know if he'll be as aggressive on the base pass. Connolly checks first, and he's back in time. Just making sure he didn't, he's not going to steal just like last time. Smart play there, keeping him close. Back in Randolph at the plate. Logan Connolly looks back first. Checking. Motion. And looks like batter called time. Just trying to regroup, get back to it. Connolly's checking first now. Doesn't want that runner to go because if we get something weak on the infield here, a double play would end this inning. Pitch, and it's fouled off to the right. Great contact again. Just can't get it. He was late on that one. Way to make contact there, though. 3 2 count, high pitch. Could have been could have been a college strike right there. Both these guys staying calm under pressure. Connolly and Rudolph. Full count again here. Top of the third, one out. And ball four. Connolly looking in. Just couldn't get that one to go. Still one out here. Forced at any pace now. No need to worry. Makes the double play a bit easier for the Dons. Now in number 10, Moeller. Jake Moeller, Jr. First baseman here against Connolly. Lefty on righty. Checks back at second in the pitch. And it's popped up to the infield. Second baseman ranging back and the left fielder's coming down to make the squeeze on that one for out number two. Good call off there too. Shortstop was thinking he was going to get that one. Left fielder called him off. Arango came down to make that play. Made the grab and that's two down. Gilman, man on first and second. Two outs. Top of the third. Logan Connolly gets into the stance. Comes back and is checking second. We know he's aggressive on the bases. Looks, and it's a foul ball off to the left side grounder. A good inside pitch there. Kind of got him closed. And that's what's big for these uh, righty on righty matchups here is he can't get that inside ball as easily as a lefty would. Comes in faster than you normally would think it would, too. Pitch. Outside, and there's movement on the bases. They both take off. Both runners advance. Gilman, man on second and third now. Base hit would probably score two runners here. A big at bat here for Connolly. Pitcholter in at the plate. Connolly motion in the pitch. Low does outside. Not, does not get the call there. That's a tough one for the umpire there. That's right on the edge. It's been a 50 50 call there today recently. 2 1 count now. And it's a pop up to right field, calls it off, and puts the squeeze on it, and that ends the inning. Great play by Hansen to end it, and we'll be right back.
Then we're back here, top of the order for the Dons. Diego, Diego Arango is up to bat here with Ryan Clary on deck, looking to repeat his big RBI double last at bat. Arango got on first base with a nice infield hit. Come in, the pitch inside, and it's fouled off back left. Gone under that pitch there. Arango, his first at bat, we know, got a little infield hit. First baseman tried to flip it to the catcher, but couldn't get it. Second pitch of the at-bat, oh, oh, one count, now 0-2. Good, that's a good hard pitch to hit, going from inside for a lefty on lefty at-bat. Inside to outside is a tough pitch. It's been tough for both teams today, these inside hitters and pitchers. And strike three swinging, or strike two, sorry. Foul ball, keeps the at-bat alive. Rango, left fielder, made a big play in that top of the third inning. Good inside. Take there. That's a tough take. He's been, the pitcher's been using that inside ball coming in. He's been using this off speed pitch for the last few pitches is at bat. Fourth pitch, and it's hit out to right field. Fielder ranging over, and he grabs it for the first out of the inning. Good hard hit ball by Rango there, even though he got out. That was a tough pitch to hit to on the inside part of the plate. Yeah, inside, and he hit it all the way out to right field. Just couldn't make pure contact. Ryan Clary. Ryan Clary up at the deck now. He hit a big double last time. It got the Dons going in that first inning. First pitch up high. Clary trying to repeat what he did last at bat. Got the crowd pumped on his last RBI double. Ben Komen, he's done this the first time with Clary. He went high and low, ball two. Repeat of the first at bat, maybe. 2 0 count still. Bottom of the third. And that one slides in for strike one. Good slider there. That's a nice pitch by Komen. Andrew, what do you think he's looking for here? Mm, nothing inside, really. Probably trying to keep it outside. He crowds the plate a lot. Ball three, three one count. With Clary stands close to the plate, inside pitch is not what is ideal for him. Now he's going to be looking to play it safe, Komen, because Clary had that big hit. And this one, weak round to the third baseman. Clary digs it out, barehanded grab. And he's out at first. A wow. good play by the third baseman. Bare handed grab from Rudolph. Clary was moving down the line too there. Yeah, we know Clary's got speed, but couldn't get that one there. Just got a little on top of that one. Gavin Pope in now. Second baseman. Komen gets in his stance. The delivery, and it's hit out left field foul. Just kind of slapped it foul there. So a good outside pitch there, lefty on lefty again. Yeah, these lefty on lefty, righty on righty matchups have been the story of the game so far defensively, shutting down these hitters. And it's hit out to the first baseman. Dives and makes a play, but he can't come up with it. And he's safe at first. Good hard hit ball by Pope there. Gavin Pope hit that one really hard into the ground there. First baseman tried to run over but could not get it. Derek Cease. Derek Cease now, third baseman. He made a big play defensively earlier, diving to stop a ball that could have gone through to score some runs for Gilman. Man at first now, one out. Two out, sorry. And he steps off looking at first. With two outs, they may try to be aggressive here and try to steal a base on this one. Don's looking to bring their lead up a bit more in a wild pitch, and Pope gets over to second safely. Just what the Don's needed to get a runner in scoring position here. Try to get an insurance run on this 2-1 lead. Extra base hit or a single might get him home. Cease, standing at the plate, pitchers in. Position, 
Man at second, bottom of the third. The pitch. Ball. Some fans sounded like they did not like that call right there. Coming from the Gilman side, 2-0 count. Coleman looks back, checks second. The pitch. Down low, ball three. Outfield looks like they're in the shift a little bit here. Center fielder looks like he shifted over to the left field side a little bit with a righty up, which makes the right center gap a pretty big hole. Good swing here, could bring Pope home, bring the lead up to two. Coleman the pitch. Outside, ball four. Cease, great vision there as he brings the Dons to first and second. Jay Hawk now looking to bring in these two base runners. That would be huge for the Dons. Jay Hawk needs to do what he did last time with a huge RBI off the off the foul pole or not foul pole off the back wall last at bat. Coleman's taken out of the game for Gilman. There's a meeting at the mound. Looks like there will be a new pitcher for Gilman. Number one, Toby Rosenban, sophomore for Gilman. Big spot here for the sophomore. Man on first and second, Hawk will be looking to take advantage of that. Rosenban will get his warm up pitches here. It's a big moment for him. Runners in the scoring position. Andrew, what's he looking to do here? Hawk just wants to get this one in play, because if he gets it in play, I think Pope will be easily able to score from second. But also, Hawk has the power to get a big hit here, probably and possibly score Cease off of first base. Dons with the lead, two to one. Two outs now in the bottom of the third. We've seen throughout this game, the righty on righty, lefty on lefty has been a real challenge for the hitters. But that opposite matchup, righty-lefty, lefty-righty, has been great for the hitters as they've been crushing them. Season Pope, first and second. With Hawk up to bat. It would be a big momentum shifter for the Dons here if Hawk can score a run. Steelman's been kind of creeping back past two innings. They've started to make some more contact with it. Don's got off to an early lead here and have not had much of anything since. Since the first. Infielders get back in position. Rosenbang getting his last pitches in. Coming in this moment. Number three, Jake, Hawk. Jake Hawk. This is a huge at bat for the Dons, looking to take advantage of the new pitcher. This is the guy you want off the bat right now for the Dons in this situation. Rosenman looks back at second, delivery, and high, ball one. Hawk will not be in a rush at all this at bat. He's gonna stay calm, look for the right pitch. No, wor no need to worry about anything right now. It's a tough spot for a pitcher here. Could be a little nervous. Ball two. Hawk gets ahead in the count now. For a good batter like this, you don't want to get, give him anything too good because you do not want to make a mistake against a guy like this. Rosenban, strike one, two, one count. It's big for Rosenban there. Going down 3-0 against a hitter like this would be tough. Especially on your first at bat, don't want that. And it's hit down the left field line, it gets through. Pope comes home. Sees grounding around third, and he'll stay. Dons bring one in, 3-1. Huge, huge hit by Jake Hawk there. Didn't get too much of it, but just had the power to get it right past the third baseman. And he's all, he will also come out now for a pinch runner. Get some more speed on second for a nice base hit here, maybe from Cease. Great hit by Hawk down the left field line, down the third baseline, got past the third baseman. Great play there. That's exactly what the Dons needed to get some life back.
Brad Cease now. First pitch is in there for strike one. Brad's looking to do the same thing that Hawk just did. Keep this rally going here. 3-1, bottom of the third, two outs. Rosenband looks. Ball one, 1-1 one, one count. Delgadio on deck. Dons have played a great game so far. Looking to keep it up. The pitch, and it's struck out to left field. Ranging back. And the left fielder makes a great running play great, to end the inning. Great grab by the left fielder on the run there. Wow. That one was hit hard and we will be back in the fourth inning. And we're back here with a pitching change for the Dons. Luke McCullough is taking the mound now. Same righty pitcher, just like just like Conley was. Three innings down, start of the fourth. McCullough, pitcher now, right-hander. And the first pitch underway, and it's hit to the shortstop. He'll field it. Throw a first. Could have gone over to first In there time. for the out. And he's out. Good pick by Cesar there at first. Didn't see a call by the ump there until after. Weak grounder there. Great pick up and throw. Looks like Colby Schilling, short, uh, short stop there. Great play. And a one pitch out. McCullough looks and delivers. Ball one. Not a bad pitch there. Keep the, keeping the batter in check. Start off early. In for Gilman, Rosenban. He'll take another one. Ball two. Two one count. McCullough looking to get that movement. Looking to get that movement out. 2 0 count. Righty on righty. He's been a struggle for these batters today. And strike two called. 2-2 two, two count, or 2-1 two, count, sorry. Gets the call, that is a big call. Going down 3-0 would have been rough. Start the fourth. And 3-1 count. Ooh, does not get the call on that one. Looked like a good pitch too. This righty on righty matchup's been lethal for both sides. This one low, ball four. Three one, Dons against Gilman. 
Gilman has a man on first now. McCullough trying to get a shutdown inning here after a nice one-run inning from the Don's last inning. Jackson Cheatham up the hit for Gilman. Roseman band at first. McCullough gets in position in the pitch. Strike one, swinging. Good off-speed pitch there by McCullough. I haven't seen a lot of strikes swinging today. These pitchers have been very patient. These hitters, sorry. Checks back at first, and he's safe. Quick throw there. But Rosenman got back. Jackson Cheatham at the plate. McCullough looks and checks again at first. Just keep him in check. Trying to keep the double play alive here. With one out here, a double play would end this inning. Get the Dons back up hitting would be huge. Dons look in and it's fouled off to the left. Cheatham just couldn't get there. that one. It was a tough pitch to hit on inside against the righty there. McCullough. It's been looking good so far. 0 2 count. And he checks back to first again. Does not want that double play. And if you can tell, they want to get this in and down, get back to their hitters. Yeah, they're trying to get out of this one quick here. Trying to keep them close to first, get an easy double play here. Pitcher's in and he's out. Out number two for the Dons. Great pitch looking. Looked like he froze cheese them there. Righty on lefty here. McCullough looking to keep this up. Man on first is Rosenman. Pitch down low it's for two, ball one. It's two outs. Run on first is not too much of a deal here. Does not need to look over and do three and put throw over three times like last at bat now. They're just looking to keep things where that where it is. And a bunt laid down, but it comes back foul. Risky two out two out bunt there. Mawson looking to get that bunt down, get over to first quickly. Dons with a 3-1 lead, top of the fourth, two outs. McCullough checks and fires. Inside, ball two. Good off-speed pitch there, though. Just didn't get the call there. That was a close one on the corner. 2-1 count. McCullough gets in his stance. Motion and fire. Going for the two out bunt Ball again three. there. Ball three now. Caleb Lawson at the plate for Gilman. Looking to tie this game up. McCullough, the pitcher, and he takes off at second. High throw and he's safe at second. High throw, but it could it would have been a really close play if that was on the money. Full count now. McCullough looking to end this inning with a man on second. Rosenban, great steal there for the Gilman. Time's Puts him called. In position. Time is called. Just regroup himself. Full count, two outs. McCullough, the pitcher for Loyola, delivers inside, ball four. Steel is not that big of a deal now, though, with first and second. We've seen so far the two outs with ba base runners on. Loyola's been looking for that weak infield hit to get any play at any base. Juke Taylor in, sophomore for Gilman. Righty on righty again. Taylor trying to make something happen here. Down, 
with the Greyhounds down 3-1 and two runners on in the gap could possibly score two here. Loyola has been loving this righty on righty matchup so far. Swing and foul back. Looks like it hit his foot. 0 1 count. McCullough at the plate. At the dish, sorry. Taylor at the plate. Gets in his stance. Checks back at second. And fires. And swinging strike two. Great off speed pitch there by McCullough. You can see Andrew the Dons, they've been looking at off-speed stuff righty on righty. And Taylor's being aggressive this at bat here too. Swing at the first two pitches. Third pitch, and it's infield grounder. Picked up by Cease. Play at second, and he's out! Out number three, and that's the end of the top of the fourth. Great play there. There's a close one too at second base. And we'll be back on Loyola Sports Network. And we're back here with Michael Delgado, who's one for one on the day. Stepping up to the plate, last at bat, hit a single up the middle. Now we know Delgado, if he gets on bases, he went from first to third without any hits. Stole first to second and got to third on a wild pitch. First pitch from Rosenban, up high, ball one. Bottom of the fourth here, Dons will be looking to extend their lead. Rosenban, the pitcher. Second ball, and it's inside. Almost yeah. got him. But very close to getting hit by pitch there. Delgadio had to swing his arms out of the way for that one. Third pitch is a strike. 2-1 count. That was a good pitch there by Rosenban. Delgadio looking. Those were two high pitches. Trying to get 3-0. Couldn't get it. And there's 3-1. Rosenband falling behind again. Delgado staying calm at the plate here. 3 1 count, no outs, bottom of the fourth. Rosenband the pitch, and Ooh. it hits him. Delgado will take his base. He ate that one up, too. On a 3 1 count. High. Second ball at Delgado there. Couldn't get out of the way for that one. Would have been a walk anyway if it didn't hit him. And now the sophomore Schilling has a runner on, no outs. Looking to do some damage here. Rosenband recollects himself. Man at first, Elgadio. We know he can run these bases fast. And check back at first, and he's safe. 
check him back because he stole second last last time he was on base. Got to keep him in check now. And third off that wild pitch. Mm -hmm. Looking back at Delgado in the pitch. Strike one. Rosenban just trying to get back to his normal self there with a nice pitch up the middle. Fell behind previous at-bats, looking to get ahead here, and he does. Oh, one count. Rosenbaum looks over at first. Time called by Colby. Chilling here, trying to just get one in play, because Delgadio can run, too. If he gets this ball in play here, Delgadio can bring it home. Anything single or in the gap. Checks again, safe at first. It is tough to get a double play on these two. Schilling also has some speed. Schilling, the shortstop, made a play last inning. A one count. The pitch, and misses the bunt. Just good, a little high. Good smart play there. A one count. Smart play from Schilling. He would have had it like by an inch been a great grounder, but couldn't get to connect. 0-2 count. Outside, ball one. Good eye, Schilling staying calm at the plate. High and outside there on an 0-2 count. Rosenban looking in, and he checks again. Third time he's checked on this at bat. He saw what happened earlier in the game here. Looking to do some damage on the bases. Rosenban, one two count. The pitch, outside ball two. And Schilling. And cold oh. strike three. Cole Hansen up, and they called that a strike three. Looked a little outside from here. Man at first is Delgadio. Checks again, oh, and this one gets, gets away. away. Delgadio takes off and slips, but he makes his way back over to first. Would have been a close play at second, too. But he made his way back there. Hansen in at the plate. 3 yeah. 1, Don's lead. Hansen looking to do some damage here with Delgadio still sitting there on first. Delgadio may be looking to steal here, especially with one out already. Ball down low, ball one. All right, gets ahead in this count, 1-0. -oh. Arango on deck, and called strike one. One, one count here. Hansen waiting for his pitch here. Rosenband looks over at first. Checks again to Delgadio. Really cautious to Delgadio there at first. Shortstop and second baseman are both playing close second too, just in case of a steal. Hansen at the plate, fouls it off back. One, two. If Hansen gets a hold of something here, out to the outfield, Delgadio might make his way onto home. Hansen looking to extend the lead. And it's hit. Weak grounder to second. And he can't make it to first. So they'll have one out, two outs for the Dons now. But, but he can't turn that double play. Diego Arango, he showed his power on his last two at-bats, too. Last at-bat hit a deep fly ball to right field. So if he gets a hold of one, it could be something good. Hansen got a little grounder there, but couldn't get much of it. A pitching change here for the Greyhounds. Rosenman is retired for the day. New pitcher will come out. Arango looking to take advantage of this new pitcher here. Junior Trey Heath is taking the mound now. Trey Heath looks like a lefty. Most of these Don's batters have 
played against that lefty so far. Smart play from the Gilman coach here, though. Going lefty on lefty now. Both these coaches have been very smart with their pitching rotations right now. Righty on righty, lefty on lefty. It's been difficult for these hitters. Heath getting his warm up in. Infield and outfield talking right now. Clary on deck. He's had a big hit already. But Rango can get over to Clary. Dons could get some points up on the board. Diego, a senior, is used to moments like this. 3-1. Three, three, something in the gap is easily scoring Hansen from first. Dons have done well all game making contact. Both teams have struggled, though, with these pitchers on the same side. That movement inside out is just very struggling for them. Yeah, Dons have made some good contact, just sometimes hitting it right at some Gilman players, just getting a little bit unlucky here. Now the Dons have played great defense so far. Their infield has worked very well together, making a double play earlier. And the outfield has done well, bringing all those fly balls. Two outs here, Veterans Park. Don's 3-1 lead, man at first is Hanson. Arango, the batter for the Don's. Now batting for the Don's, number three, Diego Arango. Lefty on lefty matchup here. Heath will be looking to end this inning quick. Arango looking to extend. Looks first and delivers. High ball one. 1-0 one -oh count. Rango steps out for a second, comes back. Heath looks first again. The pitch. In there for strike one. A great pitch by Heath there. Just gunned it. Really difficult for these lefty on lefty batters. Another inside for ball two. Almost got him there. Movement. S slider got away from him there. Saw him doing that when he was warming up. Slider was kind of staying out there. Movement helped to not hit Arango. Looks in the pitch. 2 1 count. And it's hit out to deep right field. Outfield arranging back. It's gone. Arango showing the power there. And that will extend the lead to four. What a moonshot from the senior Diego Arango there. Wow. He absolutely cranked that one out to right center field. Kiss that one goodbye. Don's now 5-1, bottom of the fourth with two outs. Don's are running away with this one now. Clary, the batter next. And here's Ryan Clary with a huge double in the first. That was electric in the first inning, looking to do that again. Ryan's right, trying to keep the momentum going here. High again. These pitches against Clary have gone high every single time, first pitch. This is the hitting matchup they want right here against a lefty. The pitch, in, and it's a strike. 1-1 one, one count. Heath is trying to get back to his normal self. Not really a great break for him. First at bat, home run. That's rough. First at bat, home run. Almost hits Clary. Gets inside their ball, too. Kind of the same pitch as the last one there before. But what were you, what were you you were saying was like, after a home run, that's tough to get right back into it. Exactly. Especially against a hitter who's done stuff already. It's a hit and foul down the third baseline. Yeah, you go from giving up a home run to Clary, who started the momentum for the Dons in the first inning. Two Cl one, two two count here. Clary's DHing today. Normally plays catcher. Pitch. And it's hit back to the pitcher. Looks 
Fires at first, and that'll end the inning. Don's huge swing gives him a bigger lead, and we'll be back on Loyola Sports Network. And we're back here with McCullough still on the mound, the lefty pitcher going up against number eight here. Leakus. Leakus. Top of the fifth now. McCullough, and it's hit Leakus out left field and foul. Best so he could do there. Best he could do there on a right handed pitcher and an inside pitch, and he ripped it foul, though. Gilman will be looking to make some runs back after. Huge hit from Arango flexing the muscles. Second pitch in down low, 1-1. One, one. Not a bad pitch there after an 0-1 count. Had a little bit of a cushion in that bat. These coaches have done a great job so far. We've said it again. The difference of this game has been the righty-on-righty, lefty-on-lefty matchups. And another one here. The pitch outside, 2-1. Gets back in position. Leakus at the plate. The delivery outside again, looking for that slider. 3 1 count now. Just kind of has to put it, not too good of a pitch, but need it somewhere close. Got the guy swinging. Cullo again. And that's high. And they call ball four. Leakus takes his base now. Early walk for the Greyhounds with no outs now. And now is Randolph. He had a big hit earlier. Bring Gilman to a 3-1 ball game. Looking to do that again. Pinch runner for Gilman. Randolph really started some of the momentum in that one inning for the Greyhounds. Nadir Samuel at first for Gilman, the pinch runner. McCullough, the pitch. Strike one. Bottom of the fifth here, 5-1, Don's lead. No outs, 0-1 count. Pretty big, decent lead over at first, and, he's got, and he throws it back to first. Check there. Trying to get Samuel whacking. McCullough looks again, big lead. Steps off and comes back. Checks at first. Hawk was ready to gun it down to first. Samuel's taking some big leads off first so far. Miss that bat. Putting a pinch runner. It's easy for the pitcher to get more focused on that. McCullough looking over out of his eye. Pitch, and he throws it to first. Drop ball, and he's safe. Low throw by Hawk there. Good stop by Cease, though. Keeping that so... Samuel didn't get going to second. That would have been big. 
with no outs if he advanced to second. Put Gilman in a big spot early. Fifth inning now. McCullough steps into it. And another ball there. Runner at first. Rudolph, Randolph at the plate. McCullough, looking pitch, hit, weak grounder, sees, picks it up to second, looks over to first, got it! And he's safe. That is a close play over at first. Looked like he may have had him there. It looked from here like that was out. Ump called that safe. Wow. So that'll probably go down as a fielder's choice there. Randolph in at first. Righty on lefty matchup here. What a great off-speed pitch there for the strike. You could tell he did not see that coming there. Nice and slow. Moeller couldn't do much about that one. Randolph at first. McCullough, the pitcher. Looking, pitch, swing and a miss. Same pitch as last time. Moeller froze on the first one, is way too early on the second one. Going two off speed here. Hasn't connected on either. When looking the first time, wouldn't be surprised if we got a high speed here. Moeller at the plate, McCullough deliver. And it's low for ball one. One, two count now. Loyola leads 5-1, top of the fifth. One out, one two count. The pitch, lots of movement there, but called ball two. Lots of movement, you're right, just a little tad bit low on that. That was a good eye by him. You can see he's been going with the off-speed stuff against Moeller here. Doesn't want anything in the zone that he can hit. Ball three and it's a full count. Moeller worked a great 0-2 to full count. Puts Moeller, him right back in this at-bat. Moeller's been staying patient in this at-bat. Did not let the 0-2 get him down. McCullough looking here for a weak grounder. He can turn into a double play. It's from the eye and pitches. Strike three! And he's out of here. Huge strike three for McCullough. Not getting a double play call. And going right back to the next batter with a strike three. Now in Dylan Schulter for Gilman. Man at first, two outs. Don's leading 5-1. The pitch from McCullough. Lots of movement again there, but called ball. 1-0 count. Call the pitch, and it's hit, infield, can't pick it up first time, and it play it second, he's out. Colby couldn't get it the first time, but he recollected it and made the play. Good play, way to stay with it. And that's the end of the top of the fifth inning, we'll be back.
And we're back with Gavin Poe getting into the batter's box here. Trying to keep this momentum going from the Dons from last inning with the moonshot by Diego, Diego Arango. Got on base last time, brought in a run. The pitch from, a, from Heath, great movement there. Got in for strike one. What a beauty of a pitch there from Heath. That lefty on lefty matchup. It's going to be difficult for Pope. Whoops. Out. Couldn't get it. And it's out of play foul. 0 2 count for Pope. Gavin Pope, 0 2 count. Bottom of the fifth. Outside. Try to get him swinging there. That movement again. On deck right now is Cease. Pope outside again. 2-2 two -two count. Gavin Pope looking to work this back. Good at bat here from Pope so far. It was 0-2. Now he worked it up to a 2-2 two -two count. Nobody on. The pitch. Outside again. Oh, the same low and outside pitch from Heath last time. Gavin Pope, great vision there. That's been about three times in a row now. It's been tough breaking balls outside coming in, coming from that inside angle. Heath with the pitch, and it's hit out to right field. Second baseman ranging back, and he puts the squeeze on it. Good track down by the second baseman there with a little blooper in the, in the shallow right field. That was Chris Rangar, John, second baseman with the play there. Eric sees the third baseman. He's made some plays defensively. Trying to make a big hit here. One out. Puts the bunt down. Can't get it. Strike one. Goes for the bunt. Could have pulled back there on an inside pitch like that. Infield looking to back it up a bit. Infield is back on a power hitter like him. Smart play for, for attempting the bunt there. Maybe he goes back to it here. The pitch. And it's hit out four out of play. And it will be 0-2. One out here, bottom of the fifth, 5-1 ball game. Don's looking to extend this lead late. Gilman looking to hold them. The pitch from Heath, inside ball one. C staying alive, 1-2 count. Heath with the pitch, and it's hit out up the middle. Shortstop with the play, throw to first, and he's out. Good running throw there by Jude Taylor. Getting the guy out first. Grab that one off a of bounce. Whipped it over to first. Great play. Jake Hawk up at the plate now. See, he's just got a little over top of that one. Now two outs, Heath with the pitch. Hawk takes it, ball one. Hawk looking to do more damage here. He's had a good game so far. Brad Cease on deck, the pitch from Heath. Same Strike sort of, one called. Same sort of breaking ball, got the call this time. Heath's been really working that breaking ball over and over against these batters. Pitch down low and swinging is Hawk. One, two count. Good cut by Hawk there, though. He wanted to smash that one out in the outfield. And one, two count. Two outs. Hawk looking to keep this inning alive. Heath down low, ball two. Hawk waiting for the right pitch. Only swing at one. One strike this at bat, other one he's looked at looking. Heath in a big spot here, looking to keep Gilman in this. The pitch, oh. almost got him, outside, full count. Behind him there. Wouldn't want to get a runner on base here, especially with Cease on deck. 
Keith looking in. The pitch. Hawk. Hits it foul. Keeps this at bat alive. Hanging slider. Just got a little over it. Hawk knows it. Underway the seventh pitch of this at bat. Hawks really worked him. Stanley's are way in the pitch. Inside breaking ball. Hit out to the shortstop. Third baseman makes the play. Throw her to first in time, and he's out. Gilman, big defensive plays there to keep in reach. And we'll be back in sixth inning. And we're back here. Krish Rangarajan at the plate for Gilman. Made the big defensive play earlier. First pitch in strike one. So far, Don's only given up three hits on one run on three hits so far. Don's are keeping it even with five runs on five hits. Ball at the back, ball one. That's been a big part of the game here. This yes. hits difference, five and five runs, three and only one run. The Dons are not leaving runners stranded so far, really. Errors have been a problem, Andrew. Mm. We've seen it today from Gilman. Gilman has two errors. One, one led to the Ryan Clary RBI double in the first inning here. Another one later. Dons are, Dons are on a good defensive game right now with no errors. One, two count here. The pitch from McCullough. Outside ball two. Joe Nadi warming up. In the bullpen right now, Joe Nadi. Georgia commit right there. Hmm. And there's the pitch fouled off. Future dog in the bullpen. Rangar John holding on right now. The 2 2 count. McCullough, the Don's pitcher right now. In the motion, and fires. And it's fouled off, out of play. And that will keep this at bat alive. Seventh pitch here for McCullough at this at bat. The delivery, and he's out! Gets him looking. looking. Throws him at the plate there. Low ball there. Couldn't get to it. And McCullough strikes him out in the sixth inning. First out there. McCullough with the pitch. Good pitch. Good frame there by Hawk. You batter in. For Gilman. Pitch from McCullough. Outside. Looks like Heath, the pitcher, is batting right now. 
could mean there's a pitching change upcoming. They call it on the 1-1 one, one count. The pitch, down and low for ball two. One out here, top of the sixth, Don's leading 5-1. No nerves really going through McCullough right now with a four-run cushion. Hit out to the first baseman, makes the play, grabs it, gets on the base. And that's the second out of this sixth inning. And good play by Cease there, calling off McCullough. No need for the pitcher to come over and go to the bag. Smart heads-up play there. Gets the second out for the Dons. Now up Jackson Cheatham, left fielder. Made a big play earlier in the game. Got out on that fly out. The pitch for McCullough. Ball one. Two outs. McCullough looking to end this inning. Quick inning here so far. The pitch. Strike one looking. Great hard fastball on the outside part of the plate. Hello, with the pitch, and swing and a miss. Strike two. Goes Cheatham. McCullough delivers again. Swing, hit to the third baseman, Cease. Looks over, fires, out. One, two, three for Gilman. And that is the top of the sixth inning. We'll be back on Loyola Sports Network. And we're back with Brad C up to bat right now. Bottom of the sixth, strike one. Don's looking to get another big cushion here. Sixth inning. Don's have a lead right now, 5-1. Going in the second to the last inning. Brad Cease, the first baseman. In 0-1 count, now 1-1. Takes the ball inside. Heath's been going with that movement a lot today, Andrew. You yeah, can see it. Yes, Heath has loved that little off-speed slider-looking ball here. Heath with the delivery. Outside ball two. Two one count, no outs. On deck is Delgadio. He's gotten on base a few times today. Pitch up high. Ceases. In a 3-1 count now, if he can get on base, Delgadio could maybe get him, get him in. With Delgadio having a good day right now. Delgadio worked the, he got the hit by pitch and also got that big hit. And then stole around a third. 
as this will be ball four. Cease running to first base. Making sure he can maybe get to second there, but definitely could not. And here's Delgadio. But it looks like there's a pitching change going on. The first baseman becoming the, fir becoming the pitcher. Meeting at the mound, and Heath will be retired. Delgadio looking to take advantage of this new pitcher. We've seen that with new pitchers, the Dons have done a great job today. Mm -hmm. I mean, just looking back, Arango hit that absolute bomb. There has not really been a hard adjustment for the Dons here. We're getting used to the new pitcher. New pitcher in for Gilman. Wyatt Randolph, the first baseman. We saw Randolph didn't hit last inning. Subbed out for Heath, but he's now pitching. Randolph's had a good game at the plate, too. Now he's taking the mound. Joe Noddy getting warm-up pitches in for the Dons. Looks like Noddy may try to close this one out here. Felix Bautista style just coming in. Absolute heat getting by. Joe Noddy has a good hard fastball, too. Don's 5-1, no outs, runner on first, bottom of the six, Michael Delgadio up. On deck, looks like Will Kelly is on deck now. Has not hit today. A little sub in here. Don's got a cushion, they can make some moves like that. Cease, the runner at first. Delgadio up to hit. Delgadio now looking to make this game a lot larger of a lead. These coaches have done a great job putting these right-hander pitchers against these right-handed batters. Same thing for the Dons with these lefty pitchers against the lefty batters. Yeah, the coaches do know when to put the right pitcher in for the right moment. Called strike one there on the outside. Takes an 0-1 count. Fast fastball there. Got by Delgadio. Second pitch, and it's fouled off back. Hard cut. Just got a little under it. You could PCI tell he was wanted all of that. There. You could tell he wanted all of that ball. Randolph, the pitcher, sees it first. Looks back, 0-2 count, no outs. The pitch, foul tip, keeps the at-bat alive. Stays 0-2. Ball got behind him there. I'm going to change it up. And it gets back. Delgadio, maybe try and get a perfect, perfect liner, maybe in one of these gaps out here. Looks like the right fielder shifted over into that right center gap. He'll be looking to try to get it down the line. Ball outside. One, two count, Delgadio staying alive. Don's up 5-1, a hit here would be huge. Another high pitch, 2-2. Two, two. Good eye by Delgadio there. Staying alive in this count. Looks like a new pitcher's warming up for the Dons. And it's hit up deep left field, ranging back. And that is gone. He absolutely crushed that ball. Wow, and just like Orango, yet Delgadio also hits a moonshot right when a new pitcher gets in. And he will trot around the bases because that ball is gone. 7-1 Dons in the bottom of the sixth, and they are electric. Absolutely crushed that ball. Will Kelly up now. And the pressure's on Randolph right now. Trying to keep Gilman in reach, even though this has been a very defensive game. 
but has been highlighted by the Don's two run bombs. You could tell Delgado hit a perfect, perfect fly ball straight over the left field wall over there. Tell right Swing and a miss, 1-1. One, one. You could tell right off the bat that one was gone. Sorry, 1-2. That ball was high and deep. It looked like that thing was never going to land. Swinging strike three, Will Kelly. One out, bottom of the sixth. Cole Hansen looking to get on base again here. He was on base when Arango hit that two run shot. High inside ball one. 1 0 count, one out. The pitch, called strike. A little inside there, gets the, gets the call this time though. Randolph trying to work it back. He just got a strikeout after a home run. And a swing and a miss from Hanson, one, two. The pitch, and he's out. Called strike three. Caught looking there. That was a tough one to hit high and outside. And here's Arango coming up after his previous at bat, which was a monster home run over the right field wall. 7 1, two outs. Swings and misses there. Strike one. You could tell he got a little caught up inside there. Hard to get that one around. Looked to swing, but did not. 1 1. Two outs here in the bottom of the sixth. The pitch from Randolph gets up high over the catcher. And now it's 2 1. Two outs here. Arango looking to give the Dons a bigger cushion even after Delgadio's strike. The pitch down low, 3 1 count. So it's now 3-1, two outs, bottom of the sixth. Randolph with the pitch, and it's hit. Weak grounder, picked up by the first baseman, dropped, but he gets it back in time. Close play there after the little bobble. And we'll be back, top of the seventh, where the Dons will be looking to close it out here on Loyola Sports Network. And we're back. And we got McCullough still on the mound, trying to close this one out here for the Dons. The sixth run cushion now after the home run by Delgadio last inning. Final inning, the Dons will be looking to close it out here. The pitch, cold strike one. McCullough gets ahead in the count here, 0-1. Lawson at bat for Gilman. He'll be looking to bring this closer, swing and foul. Early on that off-speed ball there, great pitch choice from McCullough. And McCullough's looking good right now, leaving him out there for fourth inning, I think. Hasn't allowed a, a run yet. Or many hits. McCullough, 
the fire. And strike three. He's out. That was a great first out, pitch by McCullough there. First out of the seventh inning. This game gets closer to, the o to over. Batting for Gilman, number 16, Jake Newberger. Pitch for McCullough. Swings and misses. Low. Low, low pitch right there. Got him chasing, though. You can see Newberger looking to get into this one here. Trying to bring Gilman right back. One out. Swings and misses again. McCullough is looking nice in this inning right now. Delivered some nasty pitches so far in this seventh inning. Looking to close it out. The pitch. Swings and fouls it off right at the fans. And it will stay alive 0-2. One out. No runners on. Dons have a 7-1 to one lead. Final inning here. The pitch from McCullough. Swings and low grounder to first. He takes it off the bounce and runs to the base. Easy out. Number two. Cease had an easy one there. Just kind of jogged over the base. And now we're down to the final out here. Hoping for a nice clean sweep here for the Dons this week against the Greyhounds. Danny Lakis trying to keep Gilman in here. Now, Andrew, it's been a great day here at Veterans Park. Dons looking to close it out. Swing and a grounder to Cease. Cease picks it up. And that's the game. Dons take it home 7-1. to one. What a great game to end with. Cease going to Cease there across the diamond. And the Dons win this on the backs of Delgadio and Arango on their two run shots. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. This was Loyola Sports Network.